if I wanted to go ahead and look at my notes and highlights, I could click on that, and it brings up all the different sections where I added notes and highlights. If I want to see where I left off last time, lots of bookmarks. Um, you can turn bookmarks on and off, but this lists all my bookmarks. If I go back to a study guide, and I want to create a study guide for an upcoming exam, maybe it's my, you know, I've got an Excel exam coming up, I can select the unit. I'll just pick anything, but I probably don't have anything in one of these units, but I can select everything that comes with it, the key terms from the books, um, the book, any custom flashcards, any shared notes from my instructor, any highlights. Um, I can add an entire unit to the guide and uh, just create my study guide. Now, what have I done wrong here? Oh, you know what? It's probably saying it could, didn't have any of my own notes to add it. But there we go. I went ahead and created a study guide based on that. And so this is something that students can study on their own.